guys, so today we are doing a very exciting video. I just used the main channel intro on the second channel, Techie Jail. I'm sure a ton of you guys are over here for the sewing machine giveaway, and that will be in this video. It'll be at the end after I've completed the sewing project at hand. But I hope you're not just interested in the giveaway. I hope you also clicked on this video because maybe I enticed you with the idea of turning a shirt into a cute dress. Maybe you're interested? I know I'm interested. So basically a few days ago, Tate's fiance sent me a video and it was of someone turning a short sleeve dress shirt into the cutest dress I've ever seen. I'll put it right here and I'll also link it down below. So yeah, this is in no way my tutorial or my idea. I simply was just an onlooker getting excited and I'm legitimately gonna try it at home. So to do this DIY, you're going to need a oversized dress shirt. Now, depending on what size you are, you may wanna pick up two shirts just so that that if you need a little bit extra fabric, then you have it available. And actually that would also look really cute if you had two different patterns and you piece them together. I'm not amazing at adjusting things for sizes, but I think when in doubt, make sure you have enough fabric. So this is option number one. It's kind of like a bluey gray and there really isn't any print or pattern in here, but it's so nice and soft. Also, I got these from the men's section. It was like $4, so. <laughs> We're $4 in. And then I also picked up option number one because we want some choices. This one has a little bit more of a print and pattern to it, but it's not as soft. So just based on that, I'm going to go with the softer one. If this goes well though, I'll definitely turn that one into another dress. But for now, we're gonna work off this one. So yes, here is the shirt before. But I think there's potential. I'm hopeful about it. I don't think it'll look as cute as the person in the videos because it already had like all this like trim pieces and a scalloped collar, which was so amazing. I'm so jealous. Maybe I could try and turn this into a scallop collar, but whatever, we'll just see what we can do. Okay, so the first step I need to do is I need to close this up so that when it's a dress, I don't open my legs and reveal myself to everyone. Now, luckily enough for this dress shirt, it actually has these two buttons that I have absolutely no idea what their function is. So I'm just going to pull them off and then, oh, wait a second. No, I don't need to pull them off. I just need to create a little buttonhole right here because then it's good. Maybe I could do another one at the bottom. So I'm going, I actually am. I'm gonna take one of the buttons and sew it a little lower and then to create two buttonholes to line those up. Maybe I should take it off while I sew. Surely I don't need to be wearing this while I'm sewing it. It's just so immersive. For an extra challenge, I'm gonna keep it on the whole time we make this. <laughs> ignore that. If you don't have a button foot, this is going to be hard like it is for me. Doesn't it look like I'm not doing anything? <laughs> yes. We have a professional camera crew today, folks. If you're wondering why the angles are looking exceptional today, we have a professional on the camera today. <laughs> Only the best for the second channel. What a buttonhole I just created. And then you're gonna seam rip all the way to there. Nice. Oh gosh, come on. Come on, button, everybody's cheering you on. <laughs> oh, yes! <gasps> she did it. <laughs> she did it. <laughs> yeah! Okay, so now that we have the buttons on, I put it on inside out and I buttoned it up inside out, which was a process, but it's on now. So we're gonna take in the sides. So basically when I go like this, I'm gonna grab however tight I want my dress. So this is the point where if you want it loose or if you're making it out of two shirts, this is where you put those two together and pattern it to your body. So if you're just, I don't want mine to be too tight because I find tight clothing very annoying. I'm just gonna pin one side and then I'm gonna fold it over so that it's exactly symmetrical. So I'm actually going to not worry about doing both sides. Oh, I pinned it to my shirt. Oh gosh, it scares me when you're getting out of pin things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a really important step because look what I did to the back. It's messed up. So now I'm just going to fix what I did by remembering my spot, but then fixing the back. Okay, now I'm just gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. 
Ignore what I'm doing for the next second. Just ignore that. Now we're going to cut it. And we're gonna use this fabric later, so don't get rid of it. I'm gonna take a second and just make the two little pull tabs. I don't know what they're called. What is that called? Like a, a cinch? Cincher? A cinch band? A cinch band. <laughs> we're gonna make a cinch it's band. It's like an attached belt or something. Drawstring? I don't a know. A thingling? <laughs> I think I should seam rip the pocket off. I don't think I want this pocket here. A few moments later. Okay, so I just took the extra fabric from the sides and I made these straps. Now, it wasn't long enough in any one spot, so I did have to sew two pieces together, so it was a little time consuming. But I think, be careful, Chip! There's pins on that! <laughs> don't cuddle up on that! There's pins on there! It's like, thanks for making me a nice bed. So you're gonna wanna tuck that all the way in so that the strap just sticks out the back. We're just gonna sew along here and along here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alrighty, so now I'm gonna throw it on and we'll take a look. So this is the time to do a few adjustments. Cause I'm thinking like, I don't actually like that. I think I'd like it more like this. So I think I'll cut the sleeve right here and then just roll hem it in. But yeah, so take this in, cut the sleeve, and then we might do a little bit of embroidering. Okay, so we searched the sides. Now, I really like, in the inspiration video, the scalloped edge. Now, they bought the shirt and it already had like some embroidery and some the scalloped edge, but I was looking at my settings on my sewing machine and it looks like we could scallop. So I tried just the corner of the collar and it looks Great. So I'm thinking I might make the collar a little bit shorter and like scallop it. Kind of risky business, especially because now I'm really liking it and I actually think I would wear it. So I shouldn't mess with it now. But of course, what am I doing? I'm messing with it now, so. Whoa. That was kooky and fun. Okay. Now I'm going to cut around that. That is equally as scary. Okay, the scalloped edge turned out better than we anticipated. So now we're getting really smart with it. And we're gonna try and do this little like floral design down the front of it. So I'm just gonna mark my dress in a straight line and then hope my sewing machine just takes it from there. I'm in deep now. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it adds something, you know? It's cute. It's cute. Kinda wish I wouldn't have started it. <laughs> All right, I don't exactly know if that was 100% necessary, but it's cute. I do like it, and the more we do, the less it looks like a dress shirt, and I think in tandem with the scallop, very cute. I think it's time to show you the final look. Okay, I am so happy with how the finished thrift flip went. Honestly, I think my favorite part is the scallop detail we created along the collar. I think that looks so cute. I feel like the silhouette is very adjustable because of these two straps on the sides. So you can either put it as tight or as loose as you want. It's one of those things you see it online and then you have to try it yourself. And then I'm just happy when it works out. So a quick second to see the before and after. I liked both, but I definitely think the after is more wearable for me personally. But now to get into the moment that you've all been waiting for, the sewing machine giveaway. So firstly, I wanna say a huge thank you to Sager for participating in this giveaway. This video is not sponsored by Singer, but they're supplying the sewing machines for the giveaway. And I am so thankful for them for doing this because I've been wanting to do a sewing machine giveaway for so long. And it just means so much when brands like believe in the idea that us as creators have. And I've been reading through your guys' comments and I always see so much interest in starting sewing, but there's always that one thing in the way 
way and it's that sewing machines are very expensive off the start. One thing I will say for the people who don't win this giveaway, I definitely suggest checking out thrift stores and Facebook Marketplace for used sewing machines. I actually just recently saw my exact model on Facebook Marketplace for like 50 bucks. So don't give up hope if you don't win the giveaway and who knows, maybe we'll do this giveaway again, hopefully. One other detail of the giveaway that I regret to inform you, but this is only open to Canadian and US entries. Singer is actually only able to send out the sewing machines to those countries, so there is that limitation. So I apologize if you're outside of the US or Canada and you wanna enter this giveaway. I will definitely work very hard for future giveaways to be international with sewing machines. All of my other giveaways have been international, but with this team up with Singer, we can only do US and Canada. So yeah, I do apologize about that. That's the one negative that I was and super excited to share but I have to say because it is a rule. As for how to enter this giveaway is for my subscribers so make sure you're subscribed and I created a google entry form and I will link that in the description so just fill that out and then submit that and you're entered and we'll reach out over email to let you know that you won and I didn't even say but basically it's a giveaway of 10 singer sewing machines so there will be 10 different winners. So yeah that's the giveaway pretty simple pretty straightforward. I'm so excited about the opportunity for 10 more people to get sewing machines in their hand and start some projects and some fun designs. So yes, before you leave, make sure to enter to win a sewing machine. And I hope you enjoyed this thrift flip. This is my second channel, so make sure to subscribe before you leave. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!